Hello, welcome back to another video of this chakra series. My name is Ariel. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. Um, this is a series, as I mentioned. So if you want to start from the beginning, we talked about the root a couple weeks ago. So definitely check that video out before getting into this one if you want to know a little bit more about the whole chakra system. Um, but today we're going to be talking about the sacral chakra. I'm so excited. It's actually one of my favorites. As I mentioned before, they're doing construction next to me. So I'm pretty blessed that I have nothing going on um, because I've been trying to record this video for maybe about a week now. <laughs> But we're finally here, so I'm very excited. And if you are new here, I would really, really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, be a part of my family and my community, and turn that notification bell so you know whenever I post a new video. And also leave this video a thumbs up so I know you guys like these videos. It's just another way for me to keep track of if, what videos that you like of mine. All right, that being said, let's get into the sacral chakra talk. So the sacral chakra lives right underneath your belly button, right where your hips are, our reproductive organs. So that's where our sacral chakra is located and the color is orange. And the Sanskrit word is Svastistana. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> and a little bit about the sacral chakra, it is our sexuality, our sensuality, our pleasure, um, our creativity, and um, our emotional health, really. And this is one of my favorites because um, we've been programmed to really not enjoy sex and pleasure so um it's really you know it's not it's not a bad thing i don't know why they perceive it to be this bad thing because we all come from sex like we come from our parents having sex sorry if that grosses you out but it's true that's what happened and then here we are yeah this is one of my favorite chakras because it really expresses how to be comfortable in your sexuality and in your sensuality and really gain that power from that and to kind of step away from the programming that we've been programmed for uh, for years now. So some imbalances in this chakra, it's all about our emotional health, as I said. So if it's imbalanced, it can get in the way of things that give us pleasure, that give us joy. And you may struggle with any creative endeavors that you may have if you feel like your creative side is not being expressed or if you feel like you're having writer's block, if you're a writer, or if you just feel like a creative block um definitely your sacral chakra is a little bit shifted and you feel guilt in the bedroom or in your sexuality and your sensuality and um really really expressing like who you are creatively you can also really see this in having a balance between work and life so if you're constantly working constantly um you know grinding and having that like manpower that um male energy of like working and grinding and not taking care of like your feminine side or your your um your femininity and you know relaxing um and you know really taking part of self-care that's another way that you can tell that you know you're working too much and you're not really enjoying the pleasures of life so some ways to tell that it's overactive is having overwhelming emotions rushing to you and you not dealing with them um, again kind of going back to what I said about working if you constantly work and you're constantly running from yourself and your emotions um, that gets stored in our hips and um, I personally love hip openers because it it holds just so much emotion your hips hold so much emotion and hip openers for me in yoga it really just like kind of releases all of that and lets it go and um, again, ba going back to programming, we're programmed to to not really feel our emotions, to kind of mask it and hide it. And that just causes other areas in your body to be blocked, especially your hips. So um, you, you can feel these overwhelming emotions coming to the surface and you just kind of bottling them down. Um, that's when you can tell that you have a really overactive um, sacral chakra or when you're not dealing with certain things, you're having mood swings, you're having excessive highs and lows, like one minute you're happy, the next minute you're sad, and then another next minute you're angry, you know, like you just really want to gain control of all of these emotions and not hide them because when you when you hide them, like I said, you're just blocking areas in your body and it's it's gonna come up honestly it's gonna come back up so there's no need to to block it or push it down another way to tell that it's overactive if you have drama in relationships um jealousy um you feel like you you're not intimate or connected with your partner sexually um and you have addictions if you're addicted to anything um 
you know, that's that's kind of going back to pushing down the emotions, trying to numb yourself with the addiction so you don't feel those emotions that you have. So to tell if it's underactive is you suffer from low libido, you have issues around sex and intimacy like we mentioned, and you're having fertility challenges like you're having issues with getting pregnant. Um, I'm not saying, like I said in my other video, I'm not saying it's 100% related, but it could be. And why not start there? Why not start working on your sacral chakra and seeing if there's anything that you can do if you are trying to get pregnant? Again, something that you can do to help this is, you know, have a conversation with your partner and tell them the like, you know, I'm feeling really low libido. Um, maybe we can like switch some things around. Maybe we can go on dates and and figure out what that block is, like what's going on in your sacral chakra. Like um, with the meditation I'm gonna do after this video is I'm going to really uh, tell you to to imagine that, you know, orange sphere as I talked about in my last video and just just talk to it, ask what it needs, ask what it wants, um, because that's, that's really where you're gonna get the answer. And the answer might not come right then and there. It might take a couple of days. It might take you know a couple of hours you just just pay attention and listen because you never know when it's gonna come up and just just be aware so some ways to like overcome this is definitely journaling i love journaling because it you really get to talk to yourself i feel like like you're having a conversation with your journal about what's going on instead of you just bottling it up and i feel like you can have like a nice relationship with your journal because you're not physically talking to somebody if you feel like you don't feel comfortable talking to somebody you can definitely talk to your journal and that will help get some of the emotions out and and also letting them ri like rise up letting you know your tears fall down and not judging them in any way just letting them just letting it happen um i know like uh, just a story from me i was always told that i was too sensitive or you know too emotional so i would just bottle it up and i'm i'm dealing with it now in my adult life i i you know it takes me a while to to deal with these emotions and actually like i'm dealing with it but i feel like i'm gonna be dealing with it for a really long time just because i bottled it up and like shoved it down for so long so now it's all coming up to the surface and again without judgment i'm just letting it come I'm just letting the tears fall and i'm just you know cleansing myself i'm just letting myself cleanse and do what it's got to do without any judgment you want to make sure you don't judge yourself because that's when you get into your head and you start overthinking and then that just turns into a whole other thing another thing that you can do is dancing i love to dance all the time and especially when you dance and you move your hips because like i said that's where you store a lot of emotions so dancing is really going to help um you can sexy dance uh, one thing that really helps me is i look into the mirror and i dance into the mirror and i just like move my hips and i just look at myself and i'm like yeah like I'm feeling this this is great and um, just talking to myself too like I really hype myself up in the mirror I know it seems like really strange but these are the things that work for me and I highly think they'll work for you as well and for this one I have some foods that you can eat um, I left it out of the other one but if you really want to get into what foods to eat to help your sacral chakra is any orange foods any orange fruits um, if you are not vegan or vegetarian you can have uh, salmon salmon is really good it's it's high in fat uh, fatty acid and you know nuts and seeds are really good as well which i love my nuts and seeds oh my god and you know i gotta talk about my favorite thing crystals so some crystals um just i just have three here as an example um but some crystals that are really good for the sequel chakra are, is carnelian which is like so super popular right now um, I love carnelian. It's just, it's so nice and it's really good for creativity, that sensual energy, that feminine energy. So carnelian is one. Then you have red tiger's eye. This is a raw crystal. I love red tiger's eye as well. Again, it's really good for passion, um, really good for, you know, love, sexuality. And then the last one, Actually, there's two. I have red jasper, which is also really good for the root chakra. So this is like a two in one. <laughs> and then we have onyx here. So I actually have an onyx bracelet. It's this big guy right here. So um, yeah, onyx is really good for the sacral chakra as well. And some essential oils, if you are interested, are of course orange, <laughs> uh, yang lang, uh, rosewood, and clary sage. So I do have a shop that I'm opening up. It's called Moonlight Guidance, and I will be making some sacral chakra oils. So stay tuned for that. I'll definitely link my shop down below, and um, if that will help you with your sensual energy you can just place it onto your hips 
or you can put it in your hands and like smell it that way while you're meditating or something um, just to kind of awaken your sacral chakra and get that connection back. So I hope these tips and tricks helped you um, how to unblock your sacral chakra, how to connect with it, how to tell if you have imbalances and underactive or overactive sacral chakra. And I hope you guys are liking this chakra series. It's actually one of my favorite topics to talk about. And like I said, this one is actually my favorite. So if you have any other ways that you connect with your sacral chakra, definitely list it down in the comments down below so you can help others out. You'll also help me out because I love learning new things to work with each chakra. Again, if you are new here, I would really, really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell so you know whenever I post a new video. I would appreciate any support that you can offer me. If you are interested in the guided meditation it's right after this video um so stay tuned for that thank you so so much for being here i appreciate you so so much i love you guys and i'm sending so much love to you and i will see you in my next video welcome to this meditation for the sacral chakra Find a comfortable position, either laying down or sitting up, making sure you're nice and relaxed for this meditation. If you need any props, pillows, make sure to grab those before starting. This meditation will help open your sacral chakra to creativity, sensuality, sexuality. Let us begin. Let's start with a deep inhale here through the nose. And exhale, let it out. Two more times, just like that. Inhale. Exhale, letting it go. Last time, inhale. And exhale out the mouth. Good. As you're here connecting to your breath, listening to it flow in and out of the body. Imagine a beautiful white shield surrounding your space. This shield is a protective layer and is always there with you. Each time you inhale, you inhale this beautiful cleansing white light. And you exhale what no longer serves you down into the core, letting everything go. Each time you inhale, you inhale all the creativity, your sensuality, your feminine energy. When you exhale, you sink deeper and deeper into this meditation. As you're breathing in this beautiful white light, Imagine an orange sphere right below your navel where your hips are, right where your reproductive organs are. With each inhalation, you imagine this orange light getting bigger and brighter. And each exhalation, you exhale what no longer serves you at this moment. Inhaling, connecting deeper. And exhaling, sinking deeper. Mm -hmm. 
And while you're inhaling these beautiful colors, the white and the orange light, start to connect with your sacral chakra by asking the question, what do you need to feel supported? And really paying attention to the answer as the answer may not come up in this meditation, and that's okay. But just being aware and paying attention if the answer comes up another time. Now I'd like for you to repeat these affirmations for your sacral chakra. Repeat it as many times as you need. I am in touch with my creativity. I allow myself to enjoy all pleasures of life. I am a sensual, sexual being. I now intend to create a connection with my sacral chakra. May I be in touch with my emotions in healthy ways creatively express myself to the world and connect easily to my pleasure as well as emotional aspects of my sexuality in ways that sustain me. I release all fear that keeps me from being in touch with my emotions, creativity, abundance, and sexuality. I ask to be supported in harmony of my emotions and clairsendence so that I may be at peace with how I feel. And so it is. Now you can continue on in this meditation connecting to your sacral chakra. But if you're ready to come back into the present moment, Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Slowly coming back into the present, into this space. And when you finally feel present and ready, you're able to bring your knees into your chest and roll over to your right side. And staying here for just a moment, a moment of reflection for showing up today, for choosing yourself always. If you'd like, you can stay here, or you can sit up into an easy seat or whatever is comfortable for you. May you always be connected to your sacral chakra and enjoy all the pleasures of life. Thank you for being a part of this meditation, and I will see you soon.